being able to rank scores or values is a handy feature to have. It allows you to convert those values into a scoring system that can be consistent across weeks or months. If you're just doing a, a single ranking process, then Excel's built-in rank function, which uh, is in all of the versions, is basically okay to use. It doesn't give you entirely accurate results, but it's close enough for just a single uh, ranking process. If you do need to do it over the weeks, then you, you do need to use uh, another formula, or if you've got uh, Excel 2010, there is a built-in formula that will do it. So here is the rank function in, um, as I said, in all versions of Excel. You simply list the value that you want to rank and then the range that you want to rank it in and then the zero just means that you want it in um, you know, highest, the highest number is a good number so it's it's ranked one. And as I said it, in if you're just doing a single one it's okay to use that rank function. The problem arises when there is a tie. As you can see here we've got a tie for third and it jumps from third into fifth. Now these numbers are ra uh, are actually in sorted, and, and so I've sorted them from highest to lowest. You don't need to sort the list. Excel will work with an unsorted list. This is just for the demonstration. So as you can see, we jump from um, two threes, and then we jump to the number five. So the number four isn't there, and because of that, the number that all of these ranks add up to is 44. Now. If I had all the numbers from 1 to 9 and added them up, that actually equal 45, which is what we've got in column D. And Excel 2010 has a brand new function called rank.avg. And the AVG is short for average, and it means it averages when there is a tie. And so as you can see, what we've done is uh, we've got a tie for third and fourth, or sorry, a tie for third, and so there is no fourth. And so th uh, three and four are added together to give you seven divided by two, and that gives you three and a half. And so that's where, when we add up all of the, the ranks, it does add up to 45, and that's what we want. If you're adding this up over a period and you're keeping a track of these, then you do need to make sure that the total equals, in this case, 45, so that it is consistent. Uh, otherwise, if you have a tie, then you're going to be actually allocating less values. Uh, and the more ties you have, the less values you'll um, be allocating. And we'll see that in the uh, the next example. So as I mentioned, that is a 2010 formula. It isn't in previous versions. So if you need to replicate this in previous versions, you can amend the rank formula. So here we have again the, the same uh, values, except we've got uh, more ties. And as we can see, I've got, um, there's a four-way tie for third. And so we've got three, 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 coming down to seven. And you, you can see that that only adds up to 39. So we're actually missing six points out of this because it doesn't average it. You can see that the average over here is 4.5 and that's again adding up third fourth fifth and sixth and dividing by four which will give us four and a half now this formula is slightly more complex because we have to adjust the rank function so we have the standard rank function at the start and then all we need to do is basically add 0 0.5 for each extra value so each tie each each extra value that matches has to be added, so we have to add 0.5 to the result. So we ended up with 3.5, then we'd end up with 4 and 5. So as we, or 4.5, so as we add up, this one has a four way tie, and so this sec section counts how many times the value appears. So if it appears once, we then subtract one from it to give zero and we multiply by zero times 0.5 so that's a zero so if it's only there once we don't do anything if it's there twice so if this count if which figures out how many there are if there's two it goes two minus one which gives us one we multiply that by 0.5 so that's how we get that each incremental value is increases the score by 0.5 so it takes the uh, the rank function and just adds 0.5 for every extra tie, basically, um, that is there. And, and as I mentioned, that will then give you the total of 45, which is what you need to make sure your scores will add up.
with the, the rank. So I said th this will work in previous versions, this will work in all versions uh, as well, so it will work in 2010 as well, but uh, I said 2010 has the built-in function. There was a tip included in December's article as well. It involves putting a line break within a cell. So basically all you need to do is type the first word and instead of pressing enter you're going to press alt enter and that puts the line break in there and then type the second word and then you can just press enter you can put more and more in there if you want I'm just going to use uh, the one and that gives me a line break within the cell now the difference between this and there's a form format called wrap text and when you use wrap text it gives you a slightly different result I'll use it here. So it's it's on the home ribbon. It's about a third of the way across. Uh, wrap text, and so you can see that it looks pretty much identical. The difference is when you drag the column across, it will spread out the uh, the value so that it does go over to uh, one row. If you need it to stay on two, then you can use Alt Enter, and it's like a fixed return, I guess, in in Word. But uh, it does make sure that it does stay on two lines. Okay, I hope you've uh, found this video helpful.